お前は一体何なんだ友達だ What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another War of the Visions video here on Fort Misery Gaming. And today, guys, I'm going to be doing my first look of tips and tricks that you guys could potentially be using for the Chocolate Flan raid. So, we are currently at a level 42 raid. Um, I've been able to solo up to this point. Um, I think I should be able to solo like all the way up to like possibly 50, maybe 55, the rate that uh, my turn left are going. Um, my biggest issue um, is that my Lucia is just lacking JP. Like, I don't even have tune-up maxed out. I just got reflex maxed, like, yesterday. Um, and it's just because she's new. And I farm quite a bit, but probably some people have farmed more. But that is probably what's holding back my team a little bit. Um, and I need to farm up a little bit more to get her, obviously, her levels higher. She can get six more levels, get a little bit more damage out. But, you know, this is my current setup I have with her. Um, for Vision card, obviously, if I were bringing Frederica, it probably would be a little better. But I do think having Ramza um, in this particular comp, especially, definitely Ayaka is insanely good. Um, but I think Ramza is good simply because I feel Shout is just super, super good for a solo comp. Now, obviously, if you guys are doing multiplayer, uh, you're probably going to do like four Lucias or four Medinas. Or a combination of Lucia and Yerma for that comp, or a combination of Medina and Ayaka for that comp. Maybe a Ramza as well with like a three Medina party would still be good. Um, so because Ramza is a good buffer overall. But that's kind of my two cents. But this is the stats on my uh, Medina. So we're looking at almost 800 magic. Um, you know, agility very very high, 88 agility. So very very strong. Uh, my Shiva I believe is at like 53. And then my Turetsu um, is only level 40, but believe it or not, a level 40 Turetsu, and then I have a 75 Ramu, and the Turetsu is like just as high on magic. So, um, and as far as for the abilities go, um, the bestowed effect for both Turet, uh, Turetsu and also for Ramu don't really matter in this fight. It's purely the party ability. So hopefully if I'm bringing a magic attack up print, um, then, uh, my, my partners and co-op when we are, when I do do co-op eventually, um, are going to be bringing the Ramu print, which will bring up your magic stat. So that'll help a lot with your DPS, um, for making the cut. But yeah, this is, this is the goal. Um, here is just to basically go in, um, use Ramza to buff. Eventually I may cast Ultima, uh, use Ayaka to cast, uh, initially, um, uh, the, I have, currently have the, uh, Mont, Mont TMR on her, so, um, to cast the Mont TMR's uh, AoE agility up so my units move faster. And then after that, I get into range for Holy because I typically have to wait one turn for the Flan to move a little closer to me before I can start hitting him with uh, abilities. And then you actually will want to use your Medina's um, skill for uh, D-Shell. Uh, D-Shell is insanely, insanely good simply because it's going to lower the SPR. So you could, for this fight, guys, take off Shadow Runner. Um, and potentially use uh, Shikuchi, uh, since Shik or not, not Shikuchi, uh, em Emerald Echo. Um, it doesn't require you to level it up, which is super good for your JP and gold. And it will increase the effect of your buffs and debuffs cast by self for one turn. So what that means is you're actually going to get a four turn D shell off, which can be very, very strong. Um, I think that also will also apply to your limit break of Cosmo, where it will actually increase the ice damage, um, or your, the ice resistance will uh, be applied for an additional turn as well. So that is pretty good. That's something to note. I may tr test that if the agility is needed from Shadowrunner, um, or if the luck's needed from Shadowrunner, or if um, po possibly the other uh, skill is better. But. We're gonna go, that's pretty much my premise of this fight. Um, as far as for Lucia goes, if you guys have gotten your Lucia higher up, um, I recommend tune up and focus for the two skills to use here. Um, Reflex is fine. I don't think there's really another one that will really matter. I guess for this fight, technically, you could put like Predictive Fire um, or maybe Fist Counter if you're close enough. Um, simply because I don't think really evading attacks matters in this fight. I don't think you're going to die. It's just purely a DPS time race. Uh, so that's a possibility. And then as far as for your skills go, I think quad shot is what you should be focusing on. I need to get my, uh, my passives up first before I invest in a quad shot. But 
I think this will honestly do the most because of how much chaining you'll do. And this is more relative for a full Lucia party. Um, I don't think it's as good as for like a uh, standard party. But you getting, uh, you know, firing stance, obviously you want to level that up as well. Quad shot, you want to level up as well. So I may take a break and just get like a bunch of skills to like 10. Uh, since it is cheaper to do it that way than trying to go all the way to 20 on skills. So I may do that. That may uh, give me a lot better results with my Lucia, but we'll see. But let's go ahead and get started here. Let's go ahead and see my concept of like my kind of advice for you guys as far as like I feel those are like the top units to bring. Yurm is also another good unit to bring as well. So we're going to start here first. Uh, we'll actually start with Vitalize on my Medina. And then I can use Rally Cry. Um, so I'm going to keep Ramza there. I'll go and use Shout to boost the attack. And then our Ayaka, uh, Firing Stance doesn't really matter because they don't have Missile Attack, so it's only going to be relative to Lucia. Lucia's placement there is fine. And then Ayaka will go here, and then she'll go ahead and use Rally Cry. To increase the agility of the other three units. So basically we have a party-wide agility up after Medina casts Vitalize. Medina's agility will be significantly higher though because my Vitalize is level 20 and Rally Cry is not high leveled at all. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to use D-Shell on the unit to uh, lower the magic defense. And then from there, we're going to use Ramza here uh, just to use some more TP skills. So I'm just going to cast Bolt Barrage so he can get in range for Ultima since we're lowering the spirit. And I don't even bother to go after the minions. I just let them do whatever and it's fine. <laughs> so... All right, and so then Lucia will go ahead and cast, uh, we'll go ahead and cast Quad Shot. Or I have to move, I guess, apparently. I hope that I can get in range still. Okay, can we not get in range? No, apparently we cannot. All right, there, she's too cluttered. That's like super unfortunate. All right, so we'll just kill this one. I don't have to move her around more. She unfortunately didn't have enough range to move out of the way. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate. That may affect our run, actually. All right, we can cast Holy there. That's going to get some, some good damage. And then we'll go and use uh, Medina's Limit Break after that. We have to move Medina first, though. <laughs> okay, that's not going to work. Uh, I guess we can't cast Limit Break right now. Yeah, we cannot cast that Limit Break right now. There's, we have to move Medina further out. So we'll just do a regular Blizzard to start them. That's a little unfortunate because the Limit Break does lower the Ice Res, but there was no, we had to, uh, there was no way we could have got around that, unfortunately. Uh, I'm actually going to hit myself. That's fine though, I won't die, so... All right, that's fine. I'm gonna hit myself with an Ultima, but I'm not gonna die, so it doesn't really matter. Just to get that uh, these minions out of the way, so it frees up my Lucia's targeting, because it is holding her back quite a bit. Um, so we do wanna do that. All right, so now we'll go ahead and move in, and we'll cast another Holy here. We got nine turns left, so we should still be fine, I think. All right, no one else is getting hit, right? All right, cool. So I'm going to cast our Limit Break here. And then our Blizzard should start doing quite a bit of damage here. And, all right, of course my phone has to go off at that time. All right, so let's move up there. Ooh, actually we can do Sadistic Dance. Let's see, it does that much damage compared to significantly more. So we actually are going to use Sadistic Dance here. So maybe this is a uh, skill we could potentially limit break. That was actually pretty good uh, for how low invested my Lucia currently is, doing 3200. Uh, so that's actually pretty strong. And then I think Medina should be able to wrap things up here. So let's see... Lazega will finish him. Close. Will Flare be able to finish him? Flare will finish him. So, so in soloing, I would say Flare is probably better. Um, but in co-op, because you're going to be chaining ice attacks, 
your uh, definitely your uh, your blizzards and blizzagas are going to be more uh, prevalent when you guys are bringing if you guys are doing a full Medina party or a triple Medina party. But here, wow! So seventy five hundred. That was quite a good flare. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That was quite a lot of damage. And considering I'm only using the TMR uh, from Gishtola. Uh, it's not the greatest weapon. Um, I'm saving up. I need f like 350 more arena points and I can get the Sage's Staff. Assuming I don't have the right crafting materials extra from that. Uh, but we'll see how that goes overall. But uh, but yeah, guys, that was this is kind of my little insight of like what you guys should be doing, what you guys should be bringing. So Lucia and I say Medina is probably the two strongest options, uh, depending on what you guys have. Now, I feel overall it's going to be easier to find rooms and it's going to be more... Uh, uh, more consistent with a Medina comp or even an Ayaka comp because um, Lucia has only been out for a week. So the chances of you having invested the amount of like JP needed um, and things and like even limit breaks and awakens, depending on how lucky you were in the shop and how much viz you had left to spend on Lucia's uh, shards since you pulled her, if you pulled her. Um, I feel Medina is overall going to be a better option in this first raid. Now, if this raid comes back, or if there's another raid where Lucia is very prevalent, then maybe at that time Lucia is going to be better positioned. Now, obviously, there could be whales where you guys can just find these hyper whales and they could just carry you. But I mean, I'm a whale myself, and I still my Medina is outputting significantly more damage than my Lucia is. Granted, my Lucia still needs about another 150 shards before she's TMR. But still, my the point is, is that my Lucia has a plus five Raz critical, and my Medina only has the Yishtola TMR. Uh, huge difference in attack, um, you know, things like that. So it's it's a big deal of like as far as synergy goes in this fight. If once you guys get to the higher levels, like once you guys get to like hundred and beyond, that's when it's going to really start showing, uh, you know, uh, how how important your compositions are going to be in regards to that. So. That's going to be the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit subscribe, as always, if you guys are new, and ring that bell for future content here on the channel for War of the Visions. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Enjoy it. Be safe out there. Wash your hands, all that good stuff. And good luck in the raid this week. Let me know what level of the boss you guys are taking on, whether you're able to join in co-op, or personally, what have you guys cleared. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you.